Hi. I think I'm at some Vibout Town Park. Vibout Park. I'm uh, I edited the video, talked to someone on Star Trek Online, one of those, one of those gamer types that gets you just, that just wants to be antithetical to everything, no matter what you do, they will be against it, and it got to be fun after a fashion. Because no matter what you did, no matter what I did, I could always corral them back into contradicting themselves. But he was located in Los Angeles area, so he went to bed. Talked with one of my Italian fleet mates for a while about how they're dealing with Corona down there. He lives in Venice, so. And then I did Pokemon stuff for a little while. At home. Laying on the couch. In just my underwear. And then... I went and laid the bed after I put some clothes on, figuring if I was put clothes on, I'd be a decent person. Then I laid in the bed. Like an hour and a half of that. I just couldn't take it anymore. I just started breaking down. And I went out and I just told Aaron, uh, just like, I gotta get my jacket on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go somewhere. I don't know where. Not even really that far from the apartment. I maybe walked a kilometer, maybe a kilometer and a half. And part of this is I just, I shared one of my videos to Facebook to try to keep up with the times be still behind on that by three or four days and I just don't want to bombard my entire Facebook with it. And I look I look at the analytics because that's what YouTube likes to show you when you look at your videos to go and share them through the studio. And then I see other people that I watch They consider me a big YouTuber, and I'm like, no. I'm not. I pretty much say anything I want here. I don't have anyone to piss off. I don't have anyone to excite. They say it's true that subscription numbers have nothing to do with how much money you make. And it's stupid as I tell people. I try to tell them that and they don't get it. Thirteen thousand subscribers. Thirteen thousand subscribers. Thirteen thousand people sitting in an arena. Sixty to seventy people in the front row that are paying attention to the stage, and one person throwing money on it. it Makes you feel super ignored.
and then the few people that are in the front row watch and say, we just need to focus on what's important. I don't know what's important anymore. Just like everybody else, Corona's taking its toll on me. Quarantine's taking its toll on me. <laughs> Starting to realize that I have I have a drive to want to share myself, express who I am to people. Interact with them. And I thought many years ago that YouTube could be that kind of place to do that. And of literally the entire internet, I've found maybe five people, and that's what I need to focus on is important. I'm not good at this. I have a complete aversion to being fake. I can't go through the damn fucking motions. I can't say subscribe, like, hit the bell, blah, blah, blah. Every fucking video. Just so redundant every day. If I tried to do that, begging for Patreon money. I want people to give out of their hearts to give what they want, what they feel is deserved. Because I do that in return. I do that to people. I guess I just don't have that kind of personality that's ready to turn myself into transactional nature. to become the product that appeals to the customers. I really do like my life and I like sharing it with people. But I rarely hear anything back. I don't know what people understand, what they prefer. The only real information I got is that I should go on more bike rides, record probably from the chest because it doesn't vibrate nearly as much, and then have existential breakdowns. That seems to be what gets the attention of folks. I don't know. I need to keep going for a walk. Because the longer I sit down, the more it just bubbles up to the surface. And I had to record a video. It's 3.41 in the afternoon. And I literally had nothing. I had no drive to record a video. I didn't feel like it mattered anymore. An Australian can go to a sweet shop, record with probably more visuals than he did talking. But he's got pretty flowers and decent music, and I don't even know decent music. And he gets a thousand views because the Germans are absolutely crazy because he put Germany in the title. 
I don't know. There's nothing but depression around me. I don't have any of my Dutch teammates that are cheerful and happy. Just stuck within my own head. And that's broken.